وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى the first contradiction that I want to mention is how some people just give verdict in the religion of Islam when their knowledge is very little and they know they don't know they come on social media and they talk about the religion of Islam and the reason why this contradiction inshallah ta'ala I want to make it the first is because in Islam this particular sin of speaking about the religion of Islam giving verdicts is worse even than shirk because what is shirk shirk is passing a ruling on Allah with no knowledge by saying Allah has a son or has a child it's speaking about Allah with no knowledge وَلِذَلِكَ Allah says in the Quran وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَا تَصِفُ أَلْسِنَتُكُمُ الْكَذِبَ هَذَا حَلَالٌ وَهَذَا حَرَامٌ لِتَفْتَرُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَفْتَرُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ لَا يُفْلِحُونَ These people are not going to receive success in this world or the hereafter who speak about the religion with no knowledge and give verdicts. They're never going to find success. They say this is halal, this is haram and they have no knowledge. Also, they're going to be questioned and interrogated يوم القيامة. Allah says, وَلَا تَقْفُ مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٌ إِنَّ السَّمْعَ وَالْبَصَرَ وَالْفُؤَادَ كُلُّ أُولَائِكَ كَانَ عَنْهُ مَسْؤُولًا That you're going to be interrogated يوم القيامة. You're going to be asked. What are you going to be asked? You're going to be asked about every single thing that you spoke about in this religion with no knowledge. Even if you get it right. Yes, even if you get it right. Who gave you the rights to give fatwa? Also, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He mentions, قُلْ إِنَّمَا حَرَّمَ رَبِّيَ الْفَوَاحِشَ مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا وَمَا بَطَنَ وَالْإِثْمَ وَالْبَغْيَ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ وَأَنْ تُشْرِكُوا بِاللَّهِ مَا لَمْ يُنَزِّلْ بِهِ سُلْطَانًا وَأَنْ تَقُولُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ That ayah is the ayah that the scholars mention. The sins here are mentioned تدريجًا تدريجيًا sorry. The sins here are mentioned تدريجيًا They are mentioned in order of how heavy they are. So it starts with the lightest and then it goes up heavier and then heavier and then heavier and the last one is وَأَن تَقُولُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ It's after shirk. Naam. It is to say about Allah that which you don't have no knowledge of. Where is the contradiction here that I'm trying to point out? The contradiction here is my brothers and sisters is those same people on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook who are giving verdicts even on social, even on YouTube and etc. who are giving verdicts and fatawa from themselves with no knowledge with no understanding of the religion, when you ask them about worldly issues, they say to you, oh, I don't know. I'm not an expert. Don't ask me these issues. And it reminded me of an issue that I saw. I saw a guy speaking about the religion, giving fatwas, answering questions about the religion, especially when COVID-19 happened. What he did was, when COVID-19 happened, he came out and he started to speak about the verdict that was given regarding the masjids being closed. I was reading his, yeah, and what he was saying. He was saying why the massage is closed. Yani, no, he was saying the massage should be closed. All of them should follow that law. And he was given, whether he's right or wrong, that's besides the point. And I know him. I know him. And his knowledge of the religion is very low. Very low. As he was talking, someone asked him a question. They said to him, what do you think? Will there ever be a, vac will there ever be a cure, a vaccine for the COVID-19? And what do you know about the COVID-19 and its reality? That was, this was the beginning. And you know what he said? And this is what took me back. He goes, I don't know much about COVID-19. Uh, you know, we need to go to the specialist and ask the specialist regarding the COVID-19 and its reality. Ajeeb. Ajeeb. I, mean, I, I, I applaud you and I praise you and I'm happy that you said you don't know the COVID-19 and you didn't give a wrong answer on that. But why did you not do that for the religion of Islam? This is the contradiction I'm talking about that many of us fall into. Many of us, we fall into this. We speak about the religion like it's no, no problem. We speak about it, we give verdicts. But when it comes to worldly issues, we have that humility to say we don't know. That's a contradiction. Well, there's a powerful statement Ibn Aqil in 
uh, said that Ibn Rajab al-Hanbali transmitted. And also Ibn Rajab himself has a powerful statement that inshallah ta'ala, I think it's worth going to and reading. In which he mentions the fast, he's fascinated. He says, uh, I, I'm amazed, he says, that a group of people claim to speak about the religion of Islam, that they are a reference point in the religion, but they have no knowledge of it. But when it comes to worldly issues, they are the most humblest, they are the most genuine people to say that we don't know. And that's the reality of many of us. We fall into that contradiction. I'm going to stop there, inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan, and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allah, wa bihamdi, ashadu wa la ilaha illallah, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two-second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.